Welcome back to Performance TV, presented by Top Coat. Wouldn't it be great if you could reverse engine wear, make things new again? Well, Pasha from Tribotex is back, and that is exactly what you have developed. First off, how did this all come about? That's a good question, Joe. Thank you for inviting me back. Uh, when I started my uh, PhD research, we was working on uh, biomedical implants for knees and hips, and we looked at the very safe materials that uh, can reduce uh, wear in those vital parts. And the material, it's nanoparticles that are flat and have two different sides. But one side is sticky, another is slippery. So a sticky side attaches to a surface and slippery form a film. And particle by particle, they build up to compensate for the wear that was accumulated there for decades. So thinking about uh, medical devices, you can build an engine a lot easier than you can go in and do surgery on a person. That's why this is so important and why the technology evolved. But then you guys figured out engines, perfect application. That's exactly right. If, if we would try to uh, bring this technology to knees or hips implant, you have to be ready to uh, serious capital investment over many, many, many years. Uh, for the FDA approval, for adoption in the field, but in the engine, results actually, in fact, better, and the distance to the market happened to be already 10 years. So we started research in 2009, now it's uh, 2020, and uh, we are happy to kind of enjoy the fruits of our labor. Well, you received a, a very powerful response the first time around. Uh, how is, is it done in that you've got an engine that is worn, it's got miles on it, but you want to bring things back with Tribotex? Walk us through. Um, you are right. Uh, many people who uh, look at the classic cars, many people who look at the high performance cars, many people who love their current car and want it to keep longer, uh, looking into uh, coming out of the winter and they hear more noises uh, in the engine and they uh, think, what I can do to make it quieter, make a little bit better. Okay, I'll replace filters, I do maintenance. Tribotex, it's a next step to rewind time on that wear uh, on the critical components. Interesting example, if you have bearing and typical bearing is round, right? Over time, it wears up and become elliptic and uh, shafts start to vibrate in that uh, area and you hear it as a regular noise. So every time when it hits, it creates click sound and when it hits sure. a thousand times per minute, right, it creates noise. So every time when the particles delivered there, they attached and over time, layer by layer by layer, these particles uh, shrink bearings back where they was before. Now the particles, nanoparticles, something that we've heard a lot about if we spend any time reading, but can you illustrate how they work for people who are thinking, well, how does this work in an engine? How does a nanoparticle fill in what is normal engine wear? Yes, uh, this is a very good question. You use the term fill in, but it's much more than that. Uh, any soft metal, any borates or anything can fill in grooves, but none of them goes on top of the asperities. So if you want to build flat surface up, you have to do something special, and we have exactly that special uh, feature. So on that special feature, let me show with the little prop I have here in the for form of the sticky knots. So when you get the sticky knot and attach it to a surface one by one, it only going to attach by one sticky side and slippery always going to be on top. So particle by particle, they form a film that is not going to be perfect and uniform and all aligned. It's going to have gaps and pores and those gaps and pores are going to be filled with lubricants, just like a synovial fluid in your joint. And that structure have remarkable properties. So first of all, it builds itself up when the vibration happens. Second, when the shock or impact happen, when a sudden load or combustion, right, that film compacts itself and it emits a little bit of the uh, lubricant, just like a synovial fluid. That is remarkable. You've got it for gas engines, you've got it for diesel engines. 
But you've also got something new now for transmissions. That's right, uh, Joe. Uh, we are releasing transmission edition on crowdfunding platforms, and then it's going to go to uh, retail. And uh, transmission is actually easier to make than engine. Engine have all kind of different friction interfaces, but transmission it's pretty much steel on steel. And the results we see in transmissions are dramatic, especially in CVTs, in regular automatic ones, and in manual gearboxes. We have two products, one for automatic, one for manual. Well, it's very interesting. If you're interested in reducing or reversing wear, you're going to want to check them out. So many people have already. Pasha, thank you so much. We've got more Performance TV presented by Topcoat coming up after this.